after the Hall of Shadows experience this week, and I think I'm cured. I'm yeah. cured of haunting. <laughs> I was sick. We healed. I'm healed. The Hall of Shadows. Has anybody come to see my evil dead cabin down in the Hall of Shadows? Hall of Shadows. You guys been doing that? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah, I spent the last three months doing that, and then the last three days pointing it up here, and I, I'm really thinking that my body is going to just collapse on the top of the stage any minute right now. No, it's not. I can't even think of October. I, I gotta think of Sunday loading up a U-Haul. You know, in the middle of the night. Monday when you wake up, you're gonna think about doing your mind. Then my wife looks at me like this. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> but uh, that's new for us, you know, that huge cabin. Um, and then uh, we're gonna do a bunch of new rooms and supersize everything, hopefully. You know, I got big aspirations, but it's all on paper right now. You know, got to pay for all this crap. So. And that's it. It's it's in is it Anaheim? What 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 city do you it, like? It's Anaheim. It's Anaheim. you're right right on a weird border yeah. section there. In Imperial La Palma. It's in a it's a pumpkin patch lot. Uh, a guy uses it for pumpkin patches, and I'm just using the back for a to maze. There you go. So as you guys start filling out your haunt list and to do list this year, <laughs> definitely put flesh yard on there. So who else? So, so do you fill out your card and just come down to Orange County. There and then much else the other and Sister Point and Seven Street Door all the evening, right? So um, I think we are coming back. We did a survey, and the thing that we learned, or the kind of the big aha, was was you. I mean, the, the audience that came was so fantastic and so enthusiastic. And it was so fun. And we stand. My brother works the line. I stand up front. It's all family. Our kids are in it. It's like, and we got to meet everybody, and everybody was so inspired and meeting other hunters and everything. It's just been so fun. Like, so, and you know, kind of, you get to a certain point in life, you're like, this is not fun, I don't want to do it. But this has been really cool and fun. So I think that's what kind of made us dive in. We did a survey and asked our um, fans that had gone through what was the thing. And we have a little girl in our haunt, and she won, like, hands down by the up. So we're bringing her back in a very big way. She's got some friends. So if you go on Horror Buzz, you can see all of them. So we call them the Boo Crew. But they're coming back, and uh, uh, people also got really lost. That was sort of... Kind of along the way, we've had many happy accidents where we just got like, oh, what do you want to go? And we just kind of tried something and then it worked out. So our now the, the thing about getting lost was uh, one year we had to work around a tree. And so we couldn't put walls together. So we just sent people in and they got so lost they'd come back out the front. And because of that, you're like, oh, I think we should just do that. So, so it really worked well last year and we're bringing that back even more confusion and more uh, just wrong way stuff. So we should get very lost. It's awesome, and one, one thing that you guys do that I thought was really cool, you'll go into one of the scenes, and when you turn around to continue through the maze, there's there's no way to continue where you thought you were supposed to. There's a lot of shifting elements, and it really, it was really smart. The footprint was used really, really well. So congratulations to that. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. You guys got to do that, too. If you haven't done it, you got to do that in Anaheim. All right. Um, I mean, this is just, this is such a learning curve, I think, for me. Last year for us, it was like 12 dedicated friends who just really went down their own sort of like, you're in charge of going to Goodwill and getting costumes, and you're in charge of building our Eventbrite and like website page. Um, you know, we're dealing with a lot of heavy competition in Los Angeles, you know, we're going up against some, some really big studios. Um, but I think something that is so special with Creep is that we really take our time and we really give people like a personalized experience, which I think speaks volumes on the type of sort of run of show that we're trying to do. You know, we're not really conga lining people through. We, we enter in groups of, groups of eight, but you end up as a group of four by the end of the experience. So it really, you sort of divide and kind of um, see certain people's storylines versus others miss completely some rooms. So it leaves a very like, when you walk out of the experience, like, what did, you were what? You were in a woods? You know, like that kind of aha uh -huh moment. Um, and I think really figuring out, you know, last year we opened on uh, on four maxed out credit cards. I think that's sometimes the only way you can get really things done um, out in the city. And I had a buddy, Jeremy, who owned a warehouse, who's a fabricator, that literally I was like, can we have your warehouse for the month of October? Um, and you know, we were two, we, we were honestly two guys who we thought we could build an entire attraction together. We were like, oh yeah, let's just like start building panel, like four by eight walls. Um, and we started construction on September 15th and we opened October 2nd. 
And we had a paintbrush in our hand until, you know, press and media were walking up in our front door. Um, but I think we, 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 found, we found something that I think in the LA market that haven't done. You know, you have really extreme haunts, you know, I feel what like Alone is doing and Blackout, all those guys were really great. And you have what the studios are doing. And I like to think we're like the hybrid between the two. Um, and because I come from kind of a, a theater background, we have like the crossover. So what's really important to me is like this guy, like cinematic detail, like walking into sort of really detailed extreme rooms. That's what our goal is this year. Um, and yeah, we're, we're, we're in a new location, so that's new for us. Um, and we're adding like almost another 45 minutes onto our show. So it's gonna be about, about a 75 minutes. <laughs> Sounds like a date night to me. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. All right, Mr. Robbie, you're up. We want to hear what's coming for 17th Door. So what I learned in the first year is uh, everything, basically. It is my first year. Um, we learned everything, you know. We started that first year in April construction and just went, you know, full steam all the way up until I don't even I don't know when you guys came in, but uh, we, we opened up late September. Um, I was happy with the success of the show. Uh, I call it a show. Uh, but I was not actually very happy with the show. Okay, so, uh, meaning like, it was great in many ways, but it was only 75% of what I had always, what I knew could it could be. Okay, and so that was really just a matter of running out of time and energy that first year, you know, it was just this ridiculous, crazy push, you know, being first time, extremely stressful. So this year, we are doing a lot more stuff. It's not more extreme. And those roaches on the ground were not alive, most of them. <laughs> not after I walked through them. <laughs> um, but uh, we, I am planning to really improve the execution of the show, the story and how it's told, um, and just the overall experience, uh, really trying to, to learn about the actual physical scaring of people as well, not just you know the, the ambiance and the environment and the hype and all of that, and, uh, but actually then having to finish off those, those final 10% of, of, of execution to really put a really amazing show on. Uh, so that's, and this year I was having a lot of problems with the motivation, um, but you know, we got in there, it took me a little while to get the juices going, and then, but now, I'm, you know, we've been going full steam actually for, for several months now, so uh, we were able to stay in the same location, which was a huge advantage because uh, we could focus all of that money and effort and resources into improving the show versus just moving the show. Uh, so. We've been going pretty hard. I'm already like, a, you know, in fifth gear. You know, I've got another gear, but I'm already in fifth gear, locked in. I'm really excited about what we're going to be doing this year. Um, the story is going to be, it's a continuation of the story, uh, but uh, it's going to be told better. The show will be better. The scares will be better. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm very confident for the people that did not raise their hand, you're going to love this show. For the people that raised their hand, I'm more interested in, in their feedback because I want to, you know, I feel like there's a huge jump up in improvement that can be made with what we did. So that, that's the overall concept of what we're, we're trying to accomplish this year. I love, I love your enthusiasm. 